<laughs> Yo, talk to me about the UCLA days, man, because uh, one of my best friends uh, is a UCLA Bruin, and he was in college in a fraternity when you were playing, and he was just like so excited when I told him that you were going to be on the show. Uh, what was like the energy being, because an LA kid at UCLA, obviously UCLA. That was crazy, yo. You guys were were, were really good. Yeah, we we had, once again, some problems. My freshman year, Shea Cotton, they didn't let in. He mm-hmm. was supposed to come with us. Uh, and then Jelani and Chris, they got caught up, you know, for smoking during uh, like the first year or whatnot. Um, and so we kind of played, like everybody played out of position. My freshman year, we started two point guards. Toby Bailey played like the three. Chris Johnson played the four. J.R. Right. Henderson played the five. And so um, it was crazy because we had all the talent. If our if our team would have potentially came together, you know what I mean, and we could have sustained it, we had all the talent to go out and win it. So UCLA, it's all about winning national championships. For sure. So for me, it was just like, man, like, I want to win a national championship, but I also want to, like, light this bitch on fire. You right. know what I mean? Like, let's send it up. You know what I And so, you know, crosses, dunks, all that. Like, we were there to, like, no matter what, we're going we gonna to create some entertainment. You know what I mean? Growing up watching UCLA basketball, it was always, like, they were always good, always highlights. So I was like, man, I got to go there and, like, I got to make sure I get my highlights. Right. You know what I mean? Entertain. Like, they remember me. Yeah, it was more so like I, they have to remember me. Like, I can't just be, you know, a traditional point guard that got good stats and make all conference. No, I got to do some shit where these people right. are going to remember me. You know what I mean? Do you feel like USC is slowly taking over L.A.? Absolutely basketball? not. I got to ask. Because you know, they, got, they, got, they got Bronny James Bro, and then Rodman. Bro, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't knock it off. They're definitely taking over. Uh, I mean, the, they've, they've kind of had football for a nah, long time. Nah, they ain't even got football. We beat them. Listen, the 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 Lincoln, Lincoln Riley's a hell of a coach, and hey man, look, Caleb Williams, you know, huh? it's a famous quote. It's just SC. <laughs> it's just SC. It's just SC. Don't worry about it's it. It's so crazy too because those two colleges, like, if for people who don't know, like, if you were to just drive around USC, it's in South Central, right? Yeah. And then if you go to the other side of town, it's it's UCLA. It's like night and day. The vibes totally. of the yeah, campuses. Yeah, yeah. Just the students. Like the student flavor and energy mm-hmm. is different. You know, like uh, SC got like more of a downtown. Like they more like downtown. So they got like a, a New York kind of vibe. Right. You know what I mean? Or like a, I don't know, a downtown vibe. On the west side, people chilling. Super they chilling. laying out. You know, yeah. we going to the beach. You know, people mm-hmm. from SC, they not driving all the way to the, you know what I mean? They not driving all the way to the beach. They going to go trying to find a rooftop pool or, right. 